Reapers. For those that like to put up the Reaper's flag, calling out to others on the seas to fight, but then decide that running is better. Before we get into the video, make sure to join almost 500 members in the Mystic Penthouse Discord server to speak with other members of this amazing community. If you would like to join the Penthouse suite along with so many others, visit the link in the description. If you'd also like to support the channel and myself for making more content, consider becoming a member by clicking the join button for exclusive rewards. Finally, make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, it's completely free, and I would love to reach my goal of 10,000 subscribers, so each and every one of you can help by subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing the channel with your friends and family. The Reapers faction. The PvP. The PvP faction of Sea of Thieves. In today's video, let's discuss this so-called PvP faction and everything wrong with it. Point number one. The reward. If you're looking to make a lot of money in Sea of Thieves, where do you look? It's not gold hoarders, it's not merchants, it's not order of souls, and it's certainly not Athena. It's reapers, because every item in the game can not only be sold at its full price there, but also when you're Emissary 5, you get the bonus on top of that. Now, I'm not directly opposed to this idea, and I'll explain why in just a moment. But don't you think that it gives very little meaning to all of the other factions in the seas when all of the riches are not laid with the gold hoarders, but with the reapers? Let me create what I think the reward system should be for reapers. You should be able to sell all items to reapers. However, if they're not stolen items, because people, let's not forget, this is a PvP faction where there is no emissary quest instead the opportunity to sell other boats flags. If they are not stolen items, they should sell for less than the original value of the item. However, if they are stolen, they would sell for an increased value on top of your emissary grade. This would balance out the game so much. And if you take another one of my ideas, whereby when you reach Pirate Legend, you should be rewarded, right? So all of the Athena items and quests will reward you with far more amounts of money than you've ever seen before. But this is only possible if the Reapers has this change put into effect. The end game should be for players who aspire to complete their shops and own everything in the game. But this is only done with insane amounts of money, which the Athena's faction would reward you for being a dedicated enough player to reach Pirate Legend. Point number two, PvE Reapers. Now don't get me wrong, not everyone logs on to see if thieves to fight and steal and some people just want to have a good time and trust me, I see your comments, there is a lot of you out there and I'm fully in support of that. However, what I'm not in support of is people who will raise a Reaper's flag, complete a bunch of world events or voyages and then moan about when they get into a fight. Do you know why when you reach Reapers 5 Emissary level, it gives you a literal UAV? It's to hunt down other ships who are emissaries and claim their flag. Not to tell which direction they are chasing you around a rock. The simple story should be, if you don't want to fight and want to make money, be another emissary or don't be one at all. This is where I feel that balancing the payout could really help this faction in being what it's supposed to be a PvP faction. My final and third point, Reaper Runners. This is the big one. People who will get a bunch of loot from quests and events as a Reaper and then run for eternity and in the worst case scenario, Red see the loot because they didn't want to fight. I feel like a lot of these points will coincide with each other and the money issue would fix a lot of this, but even still, people who would expect not to fight as a reaper, who sail around with a literal beacon on your boat, is a cardinal sin. <laughs> Obviously I'm joking, but when one of the lead developers, Joni, is questioning why are you running to a reaper during a live stream, 
you know something is wrong and this is not how the game was intended to be played. A fix for this is tricky, but the community can only come together so many times to try and get people who don't want to fight to stop playing Reapers. It's just sad and sometimes really makes you lose your passion for adventure when every time you try to engage in an epic battle for loot on the line, it ends up in the Red Sea or the Shores of Gold. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, check out the other videos on my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.